Hey guys, um, wanted to share with you a dream I had last night, or not last night, a couple nights ago, I'm sorry. Um, it's about a grateful heart. <clears throat> and in this dream, uh, thought I was, thought I was waking up, but I was still dreaming, and I did eventually wake up. But in this dream, I'm waking up, and I said, well, thank you, Jesus, for this day. And I really, really meant it. And I, then the Lord said, I haven't heard that in a long time. And then I woke up and I was like, oh, Lord. I started questioning. I'm like, yeah, I'm in the midst of five or six different fiery storms. Um, some circumstances, some life circumstances, some I saw, some I didn't. Some other people created. Uh, just all kinds of stuff, good, bad, and the ugly stuff. Uh, some I, some I created by my own by my own sin that I didn't think was still there, and my heart issues. Um, and that's pretty painful. Those are real painful. Some others created some just downright demonic attacks. Honestly, lies and just so it's like, man, God, it's kind of a but. But I'm still thankful in it. With not really necessarily strange, but it's like, okay, God, I know you're going to do something out of this. <clears throat> One of them, honestly, that scripture where Jesus was in the boat and the, the, they said, Master, don't you care? We're perishing. And he stood up and said, To the storm, peace be still. Like, one of them, it's like, man, I don't mean, there ain't even a boat. It sunk a long time ago. No ship, no nothing to bail out. It's kind of like, Man, I'm drifting to, in sea, at the sea. But it's like, okay, God, I know, you know, he's done too much. And I know he's able. And I know a lot of it's just an attack from the enemy, a demonic attack, because he's trying to stop my voice of this. YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and just whatever, he's in the direction he's telling me to go. And it's like, but my obedience is telling me to, to just to do and go. And so <clears throat> the grateful heart piece, when I questioned the Lord, it was like, God, you know, even in the midst of this stuff, and I'm not, it's not trying to portray me as some warrior superhero guy. I'm just, but I said, God, I said, I'm pretty thankful. Thankful for a roof over my head, my wife, a dog, a dog. Loving dog, a kid, loving kids, grandkids. Just even though my health is not great in some areas, the area that it is, I'm grateful for that. It's like I'm kind of content. Just a lot of things. And it's like, man, God, that you know, I bless my. I, this sounds stupid, maybe, but I bless every meal. I just, you know. Give tithes, offerings, you know, but I give it with a clean heart. I really don't think you get give anything. Tithes is kind of getting, I'm studying that. It's gotten twisted, guys. Okay, I get it. You should support your leaders, who's ever over you, wherever you're getting your, your, your food from, getting fed at whatever house. You should, out of a heart. You really haven't done anything to, unless you give past that, really, out of your heart. And so my wife and I do. We give a lot. Every chance we get, every time the Lord tells us to, we just do. Sometimes it hurts. <clears throat> it has nothing to do with it, but <clears throat> it has to do with my heart. So, so that's what I was questioning the Lord about. Like, God, I'm, you know, it doesn't really even bother me if I'm kind of almost giving my last. You know, not that we're broke or anything, but I mean, <clears throat> last that we're able to that. You know, between checks or whatever. You know, sometimes it's stretched. <clears throat> um. He always provides and more comes back in, but so it's like I, you know, and then he said, No, it's the depth. He took me to a time a couple times in my life, but one of them was I had this old truck and then with a nice, fairly nice truck, you know. I think I spent seven thousand dollars on it and back in the eighties or nineties, late eighties. And uh wasn't new or anything, but it's still nice, nice enough. And I had this bumper sticker on it. It said, uh, 
This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I was just thinking about my heart and where it was at and the time of my life. And it was like pretty awesome. And there's other times he's highlighted, even some recently, some things that he's done. Um, even the last one I got on YouTube, through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Man, it was, you know, broken, but praying. Thankful to be able to have a cup of coffee and praying. My favorite cup. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean out on your understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. He'll direct your paths. And I started singing that song and He just carried me through some stuff. So I've been really thankful, you know? So I was like, man. So I'm kind of like, that's where I'm at, guys. I'm like, Maybe not the right word, but I don't want to be superficial with this. I want to be real, authentic, the real deal. <clears throat> it's like my coffee, guys, okay? I don't want God to be present in some surreal, got to go somewhere to, to get him. It's like this coffee, guys. Present, close. Close, but no cigar. And I want to drink it, guzzle it, get it in me to wake me up. If it's not in me, it's not doing any good. So that's what I'm trying to say, guys. I just want to be as authentic as possible. And yeah, I got some issues. And man, if CNN or whatever, or any of those people looked at my life, it'd be like, man, it's kind of a mucked up mess in some areas. Larry the Cable Guy and Messy Marvin combined, you know? <clears throat> but, so that's what I want to be. I want to just have that grateful heart, guys. Always have a grateful heart. Gratitude, not an attitude. And there's some things right now that I could have an attitude over. And, and some of them I still do, kind of, you know. It's like, man, God, I'm trying to peel this off. I don't want this in my heart. I don't want this muck towards other people. If you knew the circumstances, I'm not going to share the details because some of the details may hurt others, and I'm not going to do that. Because that opposite of what I'm trying to preach, the love of Christ what is that going to do? Nothing, you know. I don't want to get anybody to side with me. I'm not trying to get sides on this, guys. I just want to get that grateful heart. So, it's working on some things in me. Um, and I just don't want to be the superficial. I don't want to be artificial. I want to be official. I want to be authentic. I want to be real with God. I want with this, guys. Okay, I do this. You know, this is probably not preacher friendly. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But been plenty of times where I'm bringing stuff to God. I'm like, God, oh, this kind of sucks. I'm not going to cuss, but maybe that is cussing. I don't know. But <clears throat> I question God sometimes, and this is one of the ones that I had to question him. I was, God, why, why is my heart feeling thankful in a lot of areas, but you're telling me, it's been a long time since you heard it. Man, God. Heard a little bit, guys, honestly. It was like, man, God, what do I do with this? Because that's not me. But yet it is. So it's like, okay, because our God would not highlight it. It's like, okay, God, whatever. <laughs> Where are you taking me on this road? So I'm just kind of like going to be obedient and go on this journey. And, you know, it's not even trying to fix anything or straighten anything out or repair, you know, maybe repair the breach, probably. Rebuild, probably, maybe along those lines. But the other stuff, no. So just, I want to have a grateful heart, guys. And that's what I'm going to end with. Let's just, where's your heart really at, you know? Mine's been a little bit jaded about some things. 
and some of them, one of them too, which is easy to, I'm not trying to hide behind it, but yet it's easy to hide behind too, is this last thing I had with this stroke, you know, the brain stroke. Doctor report moderate to severe brain loss. I tell people and they're like, man, you're doing pretty good. And then you can talk and stuff. And it's like, yeah, but still there's a disconnect up there, guys. Um, I know he's going to heal it, but it's still, and I'll be driving along forget exits. I'll go to a store and be in the wrong parking lot. I'll, you know, forget stuff like major, massive meltdown stuff, kind of, you know, it's like, oh, my God, but I'm not mad at them or anything. Or anybody else has nothing to do with anybody else, but it disconnects me from some of the heart issues sometimes because I don't think it's like oh, kind of like so. It's like, man, I'm kind of a little bit in overload mode here, so so I'm just working on you know my heart issue getting a heart of gratitude back in all things and. Kind of like searching, you know, okay, God, why would you tell me that, that you haven't heard that in a long time? So, kind of, I guess that's just where I'm at, guys, with my heart. Where are you guys at today? What's going on in your heart? Because the enemy wants to suck up. He's out to get you. Wants to steal your time. Wants to steal, kill, and destroy wants to get in here so he can get in here so it keeps us busy and just stuff and you know so it's just man let's get a heart of gratitude guys I'm I'm on board with it I'm probably on the front line maybe I'm a poster child for that I need more of a heart of gratitude in some areas you know that I've overlooked neglected some selfish, self-will, self-will run riot. You know, it, it, it's not the pride, guys, of life, because I just, I really don't think it's there. But the self-will, I don't know, maybe it tied in there, but I don't really think so, but I know the self, I've gotten like, man, I gotta die out a little bit here, God, in this area, and I'm not, kinda not doing real well, and I'm failing at some of it, kinda miserably. But yet at the same time, I want to be obedient to you. So really, I'm just kind of searching my heart, guys. And then um, that's all I'm asking you guys to do. Where's your heart at? I just It's time to get a heart of gratitude no matter what's going on. You know, sometimes life throws pretty good loops at us, you know. Um, death would be one of them, of course. You know, there's several people that I know that are, you know, it's like, man, it kind of hurts that hurts a lot so I'm not negating any of that that's that's a legitimate grievous place to be nothing wrong with your heart you know have a bad heart because of it because you might not be grateful that somebody passed probably not you know <clears throat> so there's a difference but that was what he was telling me was the depth of it that he hadn't heard in a long time of just pure, unadulterated, authentic gratefulness. Grateful to be even alive. Because, I mean, all you got to do is flip on the news and there's all kinds of countries that are like, you know, I don't think it's Nigeria, but I forget which country it is, but or just several of them, but you see all these militant people running around with AK-47s and gonna cut Christians' heads off and shooting people because they're Christians and beating people because they believe in the Bible and <clears throat> all this stuff going on all around us. And in America, it's everybody's got a, in a shouting match. <clears throat> so it's like, sometimes it's kind of hard to be grateful in the midst of a stormy mess. But we just gotta kind of get great, our grateful heart. Gratefulness. Lose the attitude. Grateful, not an attitude, is what he wants. 
So I'm I gotta get there too, guys. I'm just working on that. So love you guys. Um talk to you soon. And if you need to get a hold of me, Jesus is live at gmail.com. Google us Jesus is live in America. <clears throat> um blog with us, whatever. Put stuff on YouTube. Comments. Good, bad. Good comments or hate mail, I don't care. <clears throat> I want to hear from you. Let's, you know, so that's part of it. I'm part of the connectivity. So we love you guys. Uh, just let's all get a grateful heart where we're at. <clears throat>